Hello again YouTube and I'm back with another update video and in this video here I'm just going to give you folks out there uh, who are interested an update as to what's been going on with the capacitor bank and how it has uh, you know fared in the last couple of weeks in, a, in uh, these last few weeks I have been you know going off grid you know at various times and uh, just to test the performance uh, of the capacitor bank with the new wiring thanks to uh, Yankee 4 and uh, with this update right here, I must say that the system has actually has surpassed my expectations in regard to runtime performance uh, with this inverter. Uh, but to sum it up, uh, just to kind of give you an idea, is I have run this uh, this particular uh, um, setup on off grid. I started out like last night around 9:30, and. Um, you know, I got up this morning and checked the systems around 8 a.m., just around 8 o'clock, maybe a little after 8 o'clock in the morning. And it had run all night long, and the system was already beginning to ch recharge the batteries because it, at that point it was in AC couple mode, and the uh, sun was out and you know at 8 a.m., and there was already, you know, the battery bank was at like 20% or something like that, just over 20%. Uh, of uh, state of charge, and it had about 16 amps coming in. So what I'm going, what I'm saying is the system, you know, this Magnusign inverter never reached the low voltage cutoff. So from 9:30 at in the evening yesterday until 8 a.m. in the morning uh, today, uh, the system never cut off. And what it was doing, it was running, you know, the typical normal things um, at, that people run at night, maybe. Uh, I had the refrigerator, freezer, um, and you know my router, uh, my networking stuff, and you know some LED lights, and uh, that's it. So essentially, you know it, that all of that it just you know it kind of it ran all night. The key thing is my refrigerator, and my freezer ran all night long, and this particular my Magnuson inverter did not reach the low voltage cutoff. I got up in the morning, I looked at it at 8 a.m. And the battery bank actually actually started had you know was in recharge mode. Uh, it's, this is an AC coupled system, so what was happening is the you know the power was coming in uh, you know from my grid tie inverters, and they were being rectified. Uh, the AC was being rectified in the magnesign, and the power was going to charge the batteries. And so um, and so at that point, I just simply you know switched over to uh, uh, grid connection. And you know, let the batteries ch uh, charge normally through the uh, through the grid. But anyway, just an update uh, for you folks that were that were interesting. And again, another special thanks uh, shout out to Yankee for uh, because it was the wiring. The wiring uh, was everything. It was the wiring that caused the performance increase. Um, so wiring the uh, the capacitor bank to the the positive and negative on the capacitor bank. Uh, being wired to the positive negative uh, on the inverter and then the positive and negative coming from the battery bank being wired to the positive and negative on the capacitor bank that is the way to go uh, based on the performance that I've seen so the capacitor bank as you can see here the capacitor bank is the central point to where the inverter and the batteries tie in at the capacitor bank also with four gauge, or I'm sorry, four aught wire, um, I, you know, there's, you know, virtually, you know, little, uh, no, I mean, negligible voltage loss. I mean, uh, the batteries are like right here, it's in, within five feet uh, of the setup. So um, there's, you know, basically next to no voltage loss, if any. Uh, but anyway, folks, just want to, um, you know, send a shout out uh, to you folks, uh, Yankee Four for helping me out. And also to let you folks know that the capacitor bank, the, it does work. Um, I approved it, and um, I mean I am I'm, I'm just blown away by the performance of this thing. Um, this happened, you know, today. La I did it. La I mean, uh, last I went off grid last night, and I checked it this morning, and I went off grid um, the night before, a couple of nights before, and it was the same thing. I get up, and it's like you know uh, I'm expecting you know at maybe seven, eight o'clock in the morning that the that the inverter shut off or you know or something like that but no it, it didn't this is like the third time it, it just it, or you know it just didn't 
Um, so, you know, with the, with the age of, of the capacitor bank, um, you know, if there's any naysayers or any out there, I hate to tell you, but it works. Uh, it works great. All right, take care, you two.